lane on I-16 in Lawrence County is closed today as transportation officials assess the damage from yesterday's fatal crashes. And the Georgia State Patrol is recreating the pileup to figure out what happened. Four people died and nine were sent to the hospital with injuries. 41 NBC's Amanda Castro joins us in the studio. She tells us how the hospital was able to act quickly because it prepares for all kinds of situations. Mass casualties, fires, biohazards, whatever kind of emergency you can think of, Fairview Park Hospital in Dublin has a plan. And yesterday's accident was no different. As crash victims came into the emergency room, the hospital reacted immediately adjusting to the situation and getting everyone the treatment they needed. Westbound traffic on this stretch of I-16 is down to one lane. All that remains from Wednesday's fatal pileup is the smell of burnt rubber, charred concrete, and burned trees. A completely different scene, both here on the interstate and at the Fairview Park Hospital. Immediately we went to a heightened alert status. It's a status Hospital emergency manager Bo Drinkard says the staff prepares for throughout the year. We have plans in place to handle surges and influxes of patients, such as pulling beds down from different floors, calling in extra staff, pulling staff from inside the hospital to come down and help us. The hospital conducts drills for all kinds of emergencies. That way it's ready when a real situation strikes. How do we respond so that in the actual circumstance we're all very well prepared, there's no uh, frantic uh, actions that need to, to occur. We're all very well prepared and we know what to do and how to respond. It's that response and proactiveness that saved so many lives. And although it took a crash to test their preparedness, hospital officials say they're glad to know their plan works. You test this and you test it and you test it, but until you get a real event, that's when you find out, you know, how, how the system works. Our system worked very well. Eight of the nine victims were released from the hospital. One patient was sent to another center for treatment. Hospital officials credit yesterday's success to the hard work of its staff.